If you're new to, to to web video, no, you got to perform your and, 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 exercises. And, and, and you know, you just you got to get your iPod out and put on your headphones and do your stretch. You know. So okay, okay. so um so so what I want to talk about today was uh, uh I got a new car. I thought I just. Uh, yeah, and about I it. got a new used car. Yeah, and uh, and the interesting thing, of course, is that I had explained to the when I went to buy it, I actually had to explain and I had to apologize first. First I had to say, I know you get you probably get a lot of crazy, wacky things. Like somebody that's more concerned about the color of the car than the actual condition, that type of thing. And I said, Well I'm gonna be one of those people. And I bet you never heard this before. I am very concerned about iPod connectivity. And, you know, the thing is I'm gonna spend all that much money on a car. I wanna make sure I mean the main thing I do when I'm driving in my car besides driving is listening to podcasts. So I'm gonna make sure that I can actually hook up my, my iPod to it. I watch movies. <laughs> the, the way I did it before with my car, because the FM transmitters suck. Don't buy any of those. They, they're crap. The cassette deck, cassette things, well, cars don't have cassette decks anymore, and wait, they wait, were crap too. Does. And that's what I use, and it it's works a, fine. And I see, I but have it's a body. No, I see, and, um, uh, I have a mechanical two, uh, moving pod. I have a 2001 car, yeah. and you would think that there wouldn't be cassette yeah. decks yeah. on a 2001 oh, car. they're 10 years behind, yeah. But there is. But there is, and that's one of the things I want so, to touch on is the fact that here the audio technology is usually like ten years yeah, behind. Yeah, because now, so a new car, there's no there's no cassette decks. But so the so the thing is that, and, and here I was very specific because there's some cars now that have iPod docks on them. I don't want one of those either because the thing is there's already been changes in the iPod docks. Like a friend of ours has a uh, bought a, a third party uh, you know uh, uh, stereo unit that has an iPod iPod dock on it, and it worked great for his fifth generation iPod didn't work perfectly well for his iPhone. Basically, it doesn't do a lot of the functions. And I'm like, well, great, I'm going to buy a car. I'm going to have it a lot longer than I have my iPhone. Yeah. An iPhone 2 or the next iPod or whatever, it's not going to work with the dock. All I wanted was a simple auxiliary input jack. So which, what, did, what did the dealer which, say? The, uh, no the dealer listened to that entire story and says, and they point into the stereo and they say, see the stereo? There's no auxiliary input jack here. That's because it's down here. <laughs> and then they showed me in the. Oh, cool! The, so it's actually in the compartment. You can I can actually put my iPhone away and actually have it on. So it's kind of nice. That is nice. So it, it works and it's great. And the great thing is, it's not a hack. Like my old car, I had like a, an FM transmitter hooked into the antenna, as mm. opposed to an FM transmitter that's actually broadcasting or cassette deck. It's not a hack. It's full volume. It's full quality. It sounds great. It works great, and it will work with anything with a standard headphone jack. So it'll work with probably. Any version of iPod to come out in the next probably work with a 10, player. 20 years. Okay, now yeah. I am in the other camp. Yeah. Is I'm going to get, a, it's called a, a, an ICE interface for my Volkswagen. Yeah. Because uh, Volkswagen Passat has the audio controls on the steering wheel. I volume up and down and track selection yeah. and that kind of thing. And by putting in one of these, these ICE connectors in there, it comes out to either an iPod dock or a USB okay. female. The, that you could put in there and use it with anything, but it allows you to control the iPod from the steering wheel, which is nice until you get an iPod that it doesn't work with, or if you need to make a left turn and you need the volume up. Well, uh, I don't move at that kind of speed. <laughs> I'll, 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 I, I have a I have a fifth generation iPod that has it's full of music, and uh, that will be for that car for as long as I own that car. And it's not going to change no matter So what happens when you drop your fifth generation iPod? It breaks into a billion pieces. Because you run over it with your steamroller. You and then you go and you say, I want to buy a new one. And then you get like the sixth generation or the something new that hasn't out yet. And it doesn't work anymore. You plug it in it's like, oh. Well, what, okay, what, what, if I have, well, well then, then you sell the car this, new one. The way that this particular one works yeah. is it has the USB. So and so the the USB goes to the dock. Still dock. could be not compatible. I mean, it's not the dock that won't be compatible. It's the the software. Like the iPhone does not work with things that docked with the fifth generation iPods, and like that that one particular uh, uh, car interface. So it's touch and go. But you're okay for now. You're okay for a while. I'm okay forever. 
Well, but it does have the cassette. I can always go back to the cassette yeah, the thing. Cassette oh, thing. Oh, that uh, is uh, just, I uh, might as well, <laughs> I don't know. Might as well just, uh, man. <laughs> and the don't cassette start. thing only costs six bucks. Well, <laughs> there is that. <laughs> I, <Bye. laughs> Thank you.